Coming to you live from Epping CFA, my name is Andrew Nearbone. I am with Rowan Stevens, the first lieutenant of the Epping Brigade, where he responded to a structure fire. Rowan, how are you? Thank you. Walk me through today what exactly happened when you got a call from you know the CFA for the structure fire. Yeah, sure. So we received our call just after 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, and the report was for a garage fire, uh, with the further information being that uh, five people had evacuated uh, and smoke and flame were issuing from the garage. Uh, we were supported by South Marine and uh, Blue Brigades, and uh, upon arrival, we certainly found the house um, with smoke and flame issuing from the garage. Okay. And the very first thing we were required to do is make sure that one, everyone was safe and everyone was out of the house, uh, which we were able to verify with a neighbour. Yep. Uh, and also uh, get attack crews ready to actually make entry onto the building. Fantastic. So you had the strategy all ready and executed. What happened next? Yeah, we did. So a quick internal aggressive fire attack uh, with both um, both BA crews we had deployed actually ensured that we actually confined the fire just to the actual garage area. Okay, walk me through an internal fire attack. For those people who don't know what internal fire attack means, what actually does that mean? Yeah, sure. So the crew is actually wearing structural gear with helmets on, uh, breathing apparatus to make sure they can actually breathe in smoke. That's where the oxygen comes in, so they're getting pumped oxygen so they can breathe that? Yep, yep. Breathing, breathing air as they get in, so make sure all the toxic acid around, they're not actually breathing those in. Uh, as they go in, they actually go in with uh, forcible entry tools, a thermal imaging camera which we use to look through smoke and find hot spots, yep. uh, and also a, a hose line of course to make, sure, make attack on the actual fire. Okay, fantastic. So what was the result? Yeah, sure. So that quick, aggressive internal fire attack actually led to us confining the fire just to the point of origin, that being within the garage itself. Yes. Uh, and also limiting smoke travel throughout the rest of the building. So by and large, extensive damage to the actual garage itself, yep. uh, damaging the power, uh, as well as um, the actual smoke damage to the house. One of the additional hazards we faced was actually solar panels on the roof, which we had to individually isolate, Yes. Um, actually on the roof itself, uh, given that the inverter was actually in the garage. Wow. And any last messages for people storing sort of hazardous, explosive, flammable material? Yeah, sure. So just making sure that uh, we were storing materials in garages, making sure we keep the flammables away. Um, when we have young children around, make sure all ignition sources, lighters, matches and the like, are kept separate and we're actually supervising when uh, you're in those environments. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. okay guys, that's live from Epic CFA. Just like this video and spread it around so more people know, you know to keep things safe and exactly what happened here today. Thanks.